there are some dogs whose greatest joy is digging. And frustrating though this might be, it's important to remember that digging is a natural behaviour for dogs. In fact, many breeds have been developed purely because of their digging skills. Many dog behaviours can be predicted if you just look at what their ancestors were originally bred to do, or how they lived. These are often hardwired into your dog's brain. And that means that these behaviours aren't just things your dog likes doing. They're the things that trigger all those feel-good neurotransmitters that flood their brains and makes them feel just happy and fantastic and fulfilled. And not being able to do these behaviours can create all kinds of behaviour problems. Digging is a natural behaviour. And for many dogs, it's fun. And it's something to keep them amused if they're otherwise bored in the garden. So start by thinking about your dog's garden time. Make sure this is an interactive time where you play, work or train when your dog's in the garden. So you give them something to do that's engaging and rewarding so they don't get bored and start tunneling. And for those part-time diggers, or for those that just dig for something to do rather than as a passion, this alone might be enough to solve the problem. But if you have a dog that really loves to dig, you need to give them an outlet for this behaviour and create a suitable space for them to do this. So build them a digging pit in your garden and build it close to the area where your dog most enjoys digging. You can fill this with children's play sand and have it inside a robust wooden frame to stop the sand escaping. As a tip though, have a cover that you can put over it to prevent all the neighbourhood cats using it as a litter tray. Then hide treats and toys in the digging pit and encourage your dog to dig there. And you make this the most rewarding place in your garden to dig. Now your dog can dig happily and you don't have holes in your garden.